hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the post category page and api in our front end application and we created get all categories api in our back end application in today's video we will create the post product api and we will create get all products api in our back end application so let's get started before start we need to create the product dto so we can get the product dto as request body in our post product api and to create that we can right click on this dto package and here we need to choose new java class and we can name this class as product dto now we can open our product entity and from here we can copy these fields and we can paste here in our product dto after that we need to remove these annotations and after this we need to mention an other property which is private and the data type is long and the property name is category id we need this category id to link our product with the category after this we need an other property the data type for this property is multipart and let's name it as image and let's name this image as byte image we want to get the image in multipart from our front end application and then we will return the image in the byte array at the end we need to annotate this dto with at the rate data annotation and that's it for this product dto now let's create the product service and product service implementation and for that we can right click on our admin package and here we need to create an other package and the package should be inside the admin package let's name this package as admin product and now in this package we can create our admin product service and this should be an interface after this let's create the service implementation as well and here let's mention implements admin product service and we need to annotate this class as at the rate service after this we need to create the repository for our product so we can right click on our repository package and here we need to choose java class and let's name this class as product repository and this should be an interface we need to annotate this class as at the rate repository and after this we need to extend this class from jpa repository and here we need to mention the entity which is product and after entity we need to mention the data type for our id which is long after the product repository let's go in the controller package and let's create the admin product controller we need to annotate this controller with the annotation which is at the rate rest controller and the next annotation we want is at the rate request mapping and for the path i am giving slash api slash admin the last api which we need is at the rate required orgs constructor after this let's create the object for our admin product service and let's import the class after this uh, let's go to our admin product service implementation and here we need the objects for our product repository and for our category repository after this uh, let's add the annotation for add the rate required of constructor and here we can start writing our add product method and this will return product dto 
and let's name this method as add product and in the params this should accept product dto and here we need to create a new product and after this let's set the data in this product and we will start with the name and we can get this name from our product dto dot get name then let's duplicate this method and replace the name with description after description we need to set the data for the price so we can use the set price method and here we need to use the get price and let's replace this product with the product dto after the price we need to set the image and we can get this image from get image dot get bytes and to use this get bytes method we need to add exception to the method signature after this uh, let's create a variable for the category which we can get from our category repository dot find by id and here we need to pass the id for the category which we can get from our product dto by using dot get category id method let's import this category here and after this let's use here or else throw we have our category now now we can set this category in our product by calling the set category method and here we will pass our category at the end we need to write the return statement and here we can call our product repository dot save method to save the data in the database and we can pass our product entity after this we need to convert our product into product dto and for that we can call a method get dto which we need to create in the product so let's go in the product and in the bottom we can start writing this method and this method should be public and this method will return the product dto and let's name this method as get dto and in this method we need to create a new product dto and here we can set the data in the product dto so first of all we will set the id after id we need to set the name after the product name let's set the product price after the product price we need to set the description after description we need to set the product image after image we need to set the id for the category and at the end we can return our product dto now let's go back in the admin product service implementation and let's copy and mention this in the admin product service after this let's go to our admin product controller and here we can start writing the code for our endpoint which will be a public one and this will return one response entity of product dto and let's name this method as add product and let's import this response entity here and here we need to mention at the rate model attribute and then we will write here product dto because we want to accept the multi-part file which is image in this product dto so we need to use the model attribute annotation instead of request body and here we need a product dto and we need to call our admin product service dot add product and here we can pass our product dto and we need to update this method so we can throw our io exception 
and at the end we will return a response entity and here we will use dot status method and we will pass http status dot created and then we need to use the body method and here we can pass our product dto that's it for our add product api now we need to go to admin product service implementation and we need to start writing the method for get all products and this method will be public as well and this will return a list of product dto and let's name this method as get all products and let's import this list here so here we need to create a list of product which we can get from our product repository dot find all method after this we need to write the return statement and we can write here products dot stream method so we can map this list of product into list of product dto and after stream we can use dot map method and here we need to use get dto for the conversion and then we can collect this and we can convert this to list now we can copy this and mention in our admin product service and after this we can go to our admin product controller and here we can start writing the endpoint which will be public and this will return a response entity of type list of product dto and let's name this method as get all products and let's import this list class and in this method we need to create a list of product dto's and let's call this as product dto's and we can call our admin product service dot get all products method after this we will return response entity dot ok and in the body we can pass our product dto's and at the end let's annotate this method with the uh, get mapping and the url will be slash products and we need to annotate our add product method as well with the annotation of post mapping and the url for that will be slash product now let's run our application And as you can see here, our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will create the page and the post product API in our front end application.